Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the South. More specifically, Sarasota, Florida. And even more specifically than that, I'm in front of the Ringling Circus Museum here in Sarasota. Um, I have been to the Circus Museum in Baraboo, Wisconsin, which is also associated with the Ringling Brothers. But um, this Circus Museum here is on the, um, the grounds of the Ringling Art Museum, um, an art museum uh, founded by one of the Ringling Brothers here in Florida and is a very esteemed art museum. Um, and Florida, you know, very important to the circus community. The Gibsonton, Florida is often seen as kind of where the off season where all these circus performers live, kind of a community of circus performers. But I'm very excited to see this uh, circus museum for the very first time. So please, follow me. It looks like we enter the museum through the Big Show main entrance. The first section here is the largest miniature circus. It's created by a man named Howard Tibbles and took him 50 years to create. Start over here in the train yard. So we see the circus train coming to town, bringing the circus along with it. You see those workers shoveling uh, gravel right there. You can see the industrial section right here. Knoxville City Mills. I don't know if this is supposed to be Knoxville, Tennessee. Instead of going to the box factory, we're going to the box factory. You can see there's a man painting the word lay on a smokestack there. You can see the sun is actually down and all the street lamps are on. Oh, the sun is actually coming out, so I guess it does change from day to night. Oh yeah, we just watched, now, now it's daytime. You can see all the locals there gathering around as they unload the circus cars. You can see people there sitting on the train, sitting on top of the train watching the circus come in. Got all the pigeons on top of the train depot there. Moving into the actual circus area, See them unloading food right there. You can see food being prepared in this tent. Looks like we got them making, looks like they're making pancakes there on the griddle. Looks like we see dishes being washed here. Looks like that truck is actually a dishwashing truck. You can see uh, workers loading the dirty dishes into the truck and then sorting them over here. You really get a good scale on how many people actually work at the circus. You get this massive dining tent. All those little tiny circus workers eating before the circus starts. You see that they're having a circus parade here. It's the elephants coming in. Over here, you can see some uh, men getting shaved. I guess that would have been the barber's tent. And then we see some uh, workers gambling there. Little tiny dollar bills. Night has fallen again over the circus. Oh no, it looks like there's been a terrible accident. As you see, the uh, that woman was performing some sort of uh, bicycle wire act and has fallen and hurt herself. 
see someone there giving her a towel. Luckily we have the medical tent where they're coming to uh, get her. And it looks like, yeah, I have the circus doctors there fixing up the performers. See the animal cages back there, the lions and tigers and bears. It looks like they got a table full of meat there that they're feeding them. It's the polar bears over there, and it looks like they have a group of fairies there in front of the uh, polar bears. Here is the dressing tent where all the performers are getting ready, putting on their costumes. You can see this costuming area there where the women are getting dressed up in their fancy circus gear. And over here we see the clowns getting ready, putting on their, their makeup, getting ready for the show. See the clown there performing for some children. And then we have three clowns in one suit right there. Here we have Goliath, the sea elephant there. Giant sea lion that performed at the uh, Ringling Brothers Circus, and uh, fun fact, I've actually shown the taxidermy body of Goliath on this channel. He is at the Ripley's uh, Auditorium in San Francisco. See they're filling up Goliath's tank there with a uh, local fire hydrant. Here you can see uh, people coming to see the circus parking, their antique cars, getting ready to watch the circus performance the road here in front of the circus got a circus wagon there and uh, one of the Knoxville streetcars you see people from the town here entering the Midway area getting some uh, snacks some frozen delights buying some souvenirs from the souvenir tent right there. And here we see the sideshow tent with uh, quite a few different sideshow performers. You can see out front them bringing in guests with some free shows out front. Notice that one giant in, uh, in the middle standing next to a normal sized man. And it looks like there's a woman performing with a snake. And uh, we see some of the the posters we have for different sideshow performances. We have a Punch and Judy puppet show. There's a Miss Patrick, the Lady Sword Swallower. Uh-oh. Hanka Kelter, the long-haired girl from Paris. Cuddy Singley, the fireproof man from India. Percy Pape, the thinnest man on earth. Rasmus Nielsen, Wonder Man from Denmark. Looks like he's uh, lifting an anvil with his nipples. And uh, Karina, they, she trains enormous snakes. And baby Irene, 625 pounds of feminine charm. So I watch these little figures heading into the circus with their balloons. I kind of miss, it kind of makes me miss uh, big crowds. <laughs> I miss this is a, a, the day when we could. Uh, when we could all crowd together. It'll come again. Oh, night just dropped and the lights went on around the sideshow. When we went into the building, we saw this uh, entrance tent replicated on this very building. This is the menagerie. I guess this is where they would enter before going into uh, the main show. This is where all the animals are kept. That says, Pawa, the sacred, the white elephant of Burma. In the back there we see animals in cages, very small cages. And look, they have like penguins mixed in right next to um, non-aquatic animals. You can see the giraffes right there. In the back there's like a lot of elephants, just a, a row of elephants. Okay, as they are in between the tents here, this little side area. I guess this is the the men's bathroom. I guess they are urinating in this pit right here. And it says, "Please face this way." Yeah, no, no look into the sides, weirdos. 
Okay, so that is the menagerie, and then finally we are heading into the big top here. Walk into this little area here where we can actually step inside the big top and look at that. Look at all the people there in the audience. Quite a crowd has shown up to watch the circus act. Oh wow, there's so much going on in there. You see there's a spinning act there in the middle. These people create a pyramid on top of the horses. And then there's a little man scooping up horse turds. You know, it's, a, it's not a glorious job, but someone has to do it. You can see the acrobats performing their uh, spinning act there in the main tent. Some very interesting clown characters. There appears to be some sort of chicken woman right there. There's some sort of other giant bird. See that giant there carrying a little person. There's a, uh, a, a big fat circus performer. This clown here is holding a sign that says what every girl should know. Um, I don't know what information he is uh, espousing. Some sort of two-headed performer there. And then these women here, looks like each one is dressed up like a season. Look at all those big cats performing right there. Lion, literally, literally lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. There's a clown coming out of a old mini car. Clown on stilts. Yeah, it's just so much going on all at once in this literal three ring circus. You see these people sliding down this giant slide into the awaiting blanket there. Yeah, so many jobs at the circus. As you can see, uh, these workers, they're just bringing in all the little orange chairs for the people to sit in. You can see these no good hooligan kids peeking under the tent. I'm gonna get a free look at the circus, but uh, this police officer is having none of it. He's got one of these kids by the ear. Some educated horses doing a routine. There's the horse tent there, just all the horses. But yeah, the circus, circus requires a lot of horsage. In the outskirts of town, you have the general store. As you see night falling once again. It's a uh, wooden bridge. And look at that. There is an elephant bathing in the water there in the small town. You see there's a police officer trying to figure out what to do. This guy's just fishing over here. He can't believe that there's an elephant in the river. I should take an elevator to the second floor to the observation area. And we can look down. Oh, look down and see the miniature circus from above. Look down over top of that circus. It really gives some scale on how massive. It is. See those performing elephants. Yeah, look at that. There's Howard Tibble's workshop. I guess this shows how he designed the uh, miniature circus. Oh, yeah, you can see little tools. He would use it's a piece of artwork from the home of P.T. Barnum. It says it's a blind monkey begging that would hold his calling cards in front of his house. Here's some of John Ringling's personal effects. It's his wallet, his pipe, and one of his cigars there. The monogrammed hanky. Some artifacts used in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. Some of the genuine folding chairs from the circus. Um, saw ones look just like that in the model. See some personal items from General Tom Thumb, one of those famous uh, sideshow performers. And it's a little dark in this case. I think the light's out, but you can see his jacket. His little tiny shoes there. It says this is Lou Jacobs' bird cage used in the circus. Not sure why there's a clown shoe 
hanging in it. See some of these miniatures. Up close here, you have regular horses dressed as seahorses. Elephants dressed like seahorses. Horses dressed like chickens. And elephants dressed like clowns. See that two-headed dragon. For some reason it says the golden age of chivalry on it. So this exhibit says the circus today, but sadly there is no circus today. The circus, the Barnum and Bailey and Ringling Brothers Circus no longer travels. But we can see, I guess, some of the final costumes that were used in here. Very interesting take on the circus outfit. See the costumes there behind the flashing colored lights. This old circus chariot there. This area is closed off, sadly. Um, I don't know why, maybe that is, I don't know if they did live performances in there, maybe? All right, now we're headed to the uh, second building, which I guess is the original circus museum. Here's an interesting uh, collection of footwear. You have P.T. Barnum's socks, and then Tom Thumb's cowboy boots. Look at that, that's a stretch unicycle. It's very, very tall. And then a tall unicycle that actually has like a crook in it. That would be insanely difficult to ride. The sword and shield used in a circus act. Get this, we have the original ticket office from the Barnum and Bailey Circus. You can look inside here. See the old safe desk. It's the original ticket boxes. You can see some old tickets there as well. Look at this. These amazing sideshow paintings. There's Cuckoo the Bird Girl, classic sideshow performer. These aren't labeled, but you see these are albino uh, brothers or family members. They're staying on Mars. I remember, it was like a, I remember hearing about this or reading about this. It was, I guess they, they billed them that they were people from Mars, but I love that picture, how they're wearing uh, tuxedos on Mars. Yep. Big Jim Tarver, the Texas Giant. What's this? Clafalula, the Bearded Lady. The wonderful albino family from Madagascar. And this guy's got a extra leg that he can kick a ball with. This is Bruto, Zucchini's super repeating cannon. I guess this is a truck that they would shoot a human Cannonball Auto, that's pretty amazing. You see this would be like a cage that they keep animals in, and I, and I, I definitely love aspects of the circus, but um, yeah, this probably wasn't great as far as the way to keep animals. Here's the traveling trunk of John Ringling and his wife Mabel. The Ringling Museum Circus Galleries. See the wood carving shop here. They would carve pieces of wood to adorn the circus carts. And this is the Wisconsin. It is the private railroad car that John Ringling would travel in. Looks like we can go up this ramp and uh, get a closer look at the Wisconsin. Yeah, this is very luxurious. You can see the sitting room here. You can sit and listen to records on the train. Spots for sitting next to the window here. Here would be a room that you could sleep in on the train. And heck, you can even take a nice relaxing bath while riding on the train. Some fairly luxurious sleeping quarters. 
just another sitting area there. You see a writing desk. It had its own private kitchen to prepare food with. Now also here on the property, they have this. The Ka Design. This is uh, John Ripley's private mansion. Very, very beautiful building out here. Now they do give tours of the mansion, but unfortunately they do not allow uh, videotaping inside. But this is pretty breathtaking just from the outside. And out here on the back porch, you have an amazing view the Sarasota Bay. Wow. You can see some seabirds hanging out down here on the end of this marble dock. Looks like he's really enjoying the wind blowing in his wings the wind beneath his wings, if you will. Back here we have the Ringling Secret Garden. In the back of the secret garden, we have the graves of John Ringling and his wife, Mabel. You can hear some thunder rumbling, and a lot of wind blowing through the trees here. Just the gardens alone are incredibly beautiful. Check this out. If you look really close into the trunk of this tree, you can see it has almost completely enveloped this statue here. A little cherub being swallowed by a tree. Can you hear? Okay, can you can you hear that thunder? Before uh, before I get caught in a torrential downpour. Florida has some of the most terrifying uh, rain before I get caught in a Florida rainstorm. I wanted to thank you all for joining me here at the Ringling Brothers uh, Museum. Of course, uh, one of the highlights, the Howard Tibble Miniature Circus is very, very impressive. And it's just an amazing, uh, the grounds here are amazing, just an amazing compound of uh, just really cool sights. Uh, but thank you. If you'd like to help with the channel, consider donating uh, $3 or more to Patreon. Uh, $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month. Also now selling Etsy, selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop. Until next time, this one's in the bag.